Hey everybody, I'm Michael, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to unstake your OHM after you've staked it on the OlympusDAO.Finance website. Super easy to do, but in my opinion it's not worth doing unless you wait at least a couple of months to get some of those good profits back. If you did it immediately after you staked, you're like, nope, I don't want to do this. You went up here to stake and you decided, no, I really don't want to stake anymore and you go to unstake, you'll probably end up spending quite a bit of money in fees. So this video is for people who are like me who are going to leave their funds, their staked OHM in their account for months and months and months, and then they're going to unstake it. Really simple process. All you want to do, come up here and click connect wallet. We want to connect and make sure we are on the Ethereum network. I'm going to select this account to connect to. Click connect. And then once it's connected, you can see that I've got this amount of OHM, which is not being used right now, and this amount of staked OHM. Now the very first thing that you want to do is you're going to have to approve and allow Olympus DAO to make this transaction for you. I will go through with this transaction right now just to show you that it does in fact need to happen first. So I'm going to click approve and then MetaMask pops up and says, okay, it's going to cost about $24 of Ethereum. Do you want to pay this price just to allow or give permission for Olympus DAO to access my SOHM? I'm going to go ahead and click, oh, See it popped up, almost $27. I gotta hurry up, so I'm gonna click confirm. Make sure you have enough Ethereum in your account. As you can see, it's currently pending. Under my assets, I have about $145, $48 worth of Ethereum to cover those fees. And once that's done, then you will see it is either approved or rejected. And the reason why it would be rejected is if I didn't have enough Ethereum to cover those fees. The reason why I am approving right now today is because I feel like the price of these gas fees are quite low. When you look at how much it cost to stake before, it was about $35 to $40 just to approve this site to actually stake the funds for me. But as we wait for the pending, hopefully it'll all make sense in just a second. And the great thing about the approval process or the approval on the staking version is that it only happens once. You come to the site again, you will not have to pay that approval fee. You will be able to just unstake or stake. And there we go. It looks like it was approved successfully. If we come back up to our MetaMask account and you can see approve SOHM uh, spend limit, that was the approval process. Now we go to our assets. You can see my Ethereum balance is much lower. And now if we wanted to unstake these funds here, all we would do is type in how much we want to unstake. Let's say we're going to do all of it. Then we would click on unstake OHM. The MetaMask would pop up again saying, okay, you wanna pay these fees. If I wanted to pay $40 in fees, I would click confirm, but I'm not going to today, but that's all there is to it. Once you go through and you unstake, then the balance of your OHM will go up. It'll convert these SOHM into OHM and your balance will increase. And just know that if you wanted to add more funds in to stake them, you would do the reverse process. You would essentially just type in how much you wanted to put in and stake, then you would click stake. MetaMask would pop up again saying, okay, this is the cost. You can see it's $124 just to stake it. I'm not gonna do that. But if you wanted to do that today, you could go through with that process. Just make sure you have enough Ethereum to cover those fees. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one, and I will see you guys in the next video.